All right, so what I want to do is go over the horizontal asymptote test. So remember when we we're talking about vertical and asymptotes, we take a look at there on a graph how to determine a vertical and a horizontal asymptote. And when we talked about vertical asymptotes, that was always going to be um, you know, the values of x that made your denominator equal 0. However, then to find the horizontal asymptote, there is a, what a, there's certain conditions that we use to determine if a graph or if a function, a, hor a rational function, has a horizontal asymptote or not. So to do that, what we looked at was our leading coefficients. Now here you might say, well, what is my lead coefficient of 4? Well, remember, I could always rewrite that as 4 times x to the 0, because remember, x to the 0 is 1, and so 4 times 1 is 1. So now what I'm going to look at that is I'm going to compare, I'm sorry, not don't need to look at my coefficients. I need to look at my degrees of my leading terms. And what you could say is 0, the numerator, uh, degree in your numerator is less than the degree in your denominator. So 2, or 0, is less than 2. So whenever your degree, your leading term in your degree, is less than your degree in your numerator, you have a horizontal intercept when y equals 0. All right, so at y equals 0, which is the x-axis, you're going to have a horizontal asymptote. Now, let's say that your leading degree is equal in the numerator and the denominator. So now when it's equal, what you're going to do is you're going to take what we call our leading coefficient, which in this case is 2. And if there's nothing there, right, we can write 1. So what you're going to do is you're going to now do the ratio of uh, 2 over 1 equal, uh, let's write it as y equals 2 over 1, which is just equal to 2. So that means for this function, my horizontal asymptote is when y equals 2. So we only take our coefficients and divide them when we have our leading exponent, our leading terms of our exponents are equal to each other. Now we look at the exponent, and here I can write an exponent of 1. And now since the, my degree in my denominator is larger than the degree in my numerator, I have no horizontal asymptote. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the horizontal asymptote test. Hope you enjoy. Thanks.